Pacers are just four games behind number six Philadelphia. The Knicks are one game back. Well, that's what you and I were talking about before the game. The fact that you you know you're, you you can get on a streak here, win five games. And rebounded by Burks. Kemba Walker has not played in the last five. Burks is in the starting lineup. Not a traditional point guard. And Burks is a scorer, and he has his first two. Is one of four in the NBA to lead his team in points, assists, and rebounds. The Pacers force the turnover, and a slam by Sabonis. Really good play by Sabonis, because he looked the defense. And Brogdon the rebound. Well, you might be able to get it to him, because Burks. Oh, what a move by Turner. Oh, he had a little Euro step there, coming with force. And Sabonis. Oh, got him. Yes, found him. Yeah, he was able to find him. Now, that's a 6'11 guy. Brogdon. Perfect. Really good play. I've got to give a lot of credit there. And that snaps a 12 nothing run. Look at the Pacers. Where they start their offense. They start their offense. What a great play and pass. Sabonis is bringing it up. Oh, man. Torte. Fades and hits a tough shot. Wow. Ah, still got it. I'm sorry, he makes a heck of a block, but look, you got to keep playing that way. That's the real key. You got to keep playing with that kind of force. And Barrett, who did that seven times last night. With, with this group, because Robinson is so long, you've got to worry about blocking. Rose averaging 12 off the bench. And on the baseline, they've scored eight straight. Yeah, he turned it over. So the Pacers' nine-point lead almost has evaporated. And now Duarte in the corner for three. You can tell Malcolm Brockman has worked on that pass. Nowhere to go. Great cut. Great cut. And I mean a terrific pass there by Sabonis, who just laid it out. I see sharing of the ball. That's the good thing I see. It's just a sharing of the ball. That Those plays. How many shots has he taken? Chris? He is perfect. He is 5 of 5. Right. And that, that's the key. He's efficient. Barrett again. Because it, it was just about that time when the Pacers started to become really good when Larry Bird had taken over the, the team. And, and all of a sudden, uh, you're looking at yourself getting into the final. So you, it was like. Indiana's first turnover right there. They're starting to be a little more patient with the ball, Chris. Which means the Pacers have got to speed them up a little bit because they're. Knicks are five of nine, Pacers four of seven from distance. Nice job. Nice job. With all the phys physicality. Turner stays in, Martin and Karis Levert. Pounded home, big fella. Great read, knowing that Whit Robinson is coming to the back. <laughs> Up here yeah. to Indiana to play, and you've got to make take the legs out on the back-to-back -back from these Knicks. As Barrett was looking for help and begging for it. Yeah, it's just a lot more uh, uh, energy and aggressiveness to get where you're going. And you can see the result of that. Smallest guy on the floor quickly got it, and they... Throw it to Rose, who missed it, but tipped in by Toppin. Yeah, he was trying to get it locked. There haven't been as many with this group. In and out, no good by Brissett. He had hit six of his last eight, but Indiana not getting back. That's the timeout. Yeah, you lost balance here. Levert rebounded by Sabonis. He's giving the paces right here. Two extra support. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the whole bitch is up because they've worked. Long rebound out to Brissett. Levert for three. Ends an eight nothing Pacers run. They've had runs of 15 to two, 11 to two, and eight nothing. Well, that was easy for Levert. Pacers are the number one first half scoring team in the NBA at nearly 59 points per game. They're already at 52. Robinson is in foul trouble with three, picked off by Martin. Pound it down, Keelan. Well, that's a nice job. Yeah, because 
he was about to come out at the time he was on the floor. So Rick got him back into the game. And Toppin throws it down. Against a good defensive team, one of the better defensive teams in all of basketball. Fifth time they have done it this year. Randall trying to keep the Knicks close. Pacers have the advantage. They throw pass. it up. Sabonis. What a pass. What a pass. I mean, you know, it tickles me. You say he is real. I mean, you're right. You're 100% right. But he has. He's picking him up early. Lavert got two more. Get downhill into the paint. And the Pacers scoop it up. What a pass to, to Duarte. Got a little screen there by Sabonis. And Gibson was there, but in terms of aggressiveness, this is the right temperament. Turner for three. It's a 23-point lead. Yeah, but how about the assist? You can hear the coaches screaming, communicate. They want to get a stop here. Burks managed to get that one to go down, even though Miles, I thought, might have flicked him on the head. Well, if he puts his arm on you when you're driving, you might get a, a block too. And Barrett comes right back. That's three straight baskets by the Knicks. Seven and a half for Barrett. He has 15. They're going to try to keep the ball. Yeah, they're going to try to keep it over there because they wanted to come to this side to possess. And Barrett continues what he did last night in San Antonio. Pacers have a five on four if they want it. Barrett late to get back. Good find. Good find. The bonus is saying he should have dumped it. Brogdon gets inside strong against Quickly. But the patient offense. Here at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Had great success against them in the playoff series here as tipped in by Robinson. There was a strategy there. Understood. Again, I'll wait for the results of the strategy. Martin with a jumper. And Lavert. Great help by Martin. Because. Burks was going to get there. I'm telling you, that was a prayer answer because he just threw it up there. Knicks were just 6 of 21 in the third quarter. The Pacers 7 of 19. Again, another cut. I mean, Rick Carlisle's got to be here. Quickly, bad handoff, Sabonis Lavert. Remember, remember having a discussion with him. And, and he, well, they did not did send him, but he watched him over there. And um, that, when you go play in Europe, you got you have to be a more foul prone than uh, the Knicks. Levert had it taken away, and Toppin at the rim. Robinson, the block, running Toppin. We could get a timeout on McConnell because now you've got Brogdon playing off the ball. Boy, he's getting more comfortable, isn't oh, you can see. Yeah, he? He's, he, when he gets you on your back, I mean, he played. Shot clock winding down to eight. Top it. Oh, my goodness. He got a pass out of that. Hey, listen, you, that's as good a defense as you can play. Somehow they were able to get the pass. Porzingis, who had a hard time, he said, standing in the corner. I like Porzingis, but he's going to have a hard time anyway. He plays an awkward game for a 7 3 guy. Good, and that means some great effort. And it leads to a basket by Wanamaker. I, I, I thought this was from the time that I saw it. Great job, but the, you don't see that very often. He saw the lob go, and the Pacers get one on the other end. But Miles Turner fires this team in terms of percentages. Fourth time this year, the Pacers have scored 120 or more. Didn't hold them under 100. But they do get their second 20-point win of the year as the Pacers use that 15-2 run.